What's good gamers? It's Roll Easy here, and right now we're gonna talk about the only solo money glitch. I mean, technically the DM glitch is also up, but like I said, unless this one gets patched, I won't even attempt the other one. Uh, it ain't worth it, but this one is definitely worth it, okay? So thanks to uh, to Lost Glitches and Glitch Squad, we do have this money glitch. Glitch Squad actually came up with this little method. Lost Glitches is the original founder. But they came up with this little method on how to actually hit this a lot, you know, a lot more consistently. And I'm not going to lie, it worked. I hit it twice within four tries. That's the most consistent I've had with this with this glitch in a while. Okay, so for all of you that are new, what you're going to need is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Uh, Got to use a Sultan RS. It is, it is the best working one. Uh, you need custom plates for this glitch. There's another way to do it without custom plates. It doesn't work anymore, guys. I'll explain that later. So for this glitch, you need custom plates. And you want to have any garage with Fagios or RH8s and throw yourself in an invite-only session, okay? And you want to get the animation, honestly. You see that animation to go into the MOC? You want to get that. It will help you a lot, okay? So to get that, you need to be on a flat surface. Your MOC has got to be parked on a flat surface. So here's the setup for this, all right? This is what we're doing now. So at this moment, I drove back out, and right now I'm actually just slightly pushing on the left trigger or L2 on PlayStation. And you see that? I'm slightly reversing very, very slow, as slow as I can. That is the amount that you're going to want uh, to actually push on your trigger or your gas, you know, your reverse. You can use uh, the gas also, right trigger, left trigger, doesn't matter. You can use either one. But test it that way. You want to just slightly, you know, reverse or gas outside to see how far it needs to go to just slowly go back. Okay, and that's the amount that you're going to want to push in the glitch. So right here, this is what we're doing. We're actually like combining all the methods, okay? My, my controller unplugged there for a second. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get in, and at this point, I'm actually holding the start button or the pause. I'm holding it, and I'm also holding the left trigger, that same amount that I just tested out there, okay? And right when he starts the car and I'm about to go, I yank the plug, just like that, okay? So once again, I'm just holding start, holding left trigger, and getting in the car, and right when he's about to drive out, boom, plug, you know, unplug the uh, the controller. And look at that, I spawned outside, I kid you not. This video, I jumped into a new session, started recording, and I hit it first try on this video. Uh, I had tested it three other tries before, and like I said, I hit it once out of those three tries, and then right away I hit it again, and look at that, I got the glitched out car. This method is much, much better. I'm gonna explain it once again uh, a little bit later in the video. This video is just going to be a little bit longer just because I'm going over everything about this glitch as if it's brand new again because this method does work much, much better than the old one. Okay, so right there I got the car stacked. That's what you want to see. All right, you want the cars to be stacked and that's how we're going to proceed with the glitch. Now, the old way we could do with uh, without custom plates will not work, guys. I, I have tried to do it. The cars are bricked no matter what now. You can't drive the cars at all. So I think that was part of the patch that they put in yesterday. I don't know why they wouldn't patch the better glitch, but the, uh, the, the longer glitch that takes, you know, much, much longer to actually do is actually still working, okay? The other one, I wouldn't call it patched, but it got bricked on me. If you want to try the old method, there's a link in the video, or there's a link in the description and at the end of the video uh, of the method without custom plates. Uh, so if you do want to try it, go ahead. But this method works, okay? So once you got the car stacked, go ahead and renovate your MOC. Uh, go to bay two, and you're going to want to hit the weapon and vehicle workshop, okay? Hit OK, renovate for $955,000, and go ahead and buy it, all right? I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video, yeah, you do need about a million dollars just to be able to do this. But once you got that, you're going to make your money back in, you know, money back plus in two dupes, okay? And you can dupe a car every 30 seconds, no lie. So here's where the Fagios and the RHAs come into play. I called up a Fagio right there, and now I'm just going to run back into my MOC. And you're going to see that since we had two cars glitched in there, and now we put the vehicle workshop in there, we're going to have one of those Sultans actually glitched in the workshop. Okay, and once that Sultan's glitched in the workshop, you can use that to just continually dupe, you know, for forever, honestly, until you have no more space. So hit right D-pad right now, repair the vehicle if you need to, and then go to plates. And I recommend having multiple plates, okay? So I go ahead and I change the color of the plate, and I change the plate itself just to be extra safe, and hit exit vehicle. Do not hit exit MOC. You do not want to drive that car out of the MOC, or else you're going to have to do the glitch again. Okay, so now once we're outside, 
That Fagio is actually a dupe. It might look like a Fagio, but that's a dupe. So go ahead and return it to, to storage and call up another Fagio. And you're just going to rinse and repeat. Now, you could do this with RH8s also. I'll show you later in the video that I actually do have an RH8 in the garage. And I go in there to get it for this glitch. But right now, all you're going to be seeing is me just duping that entire garage. Uh, the, the garage that you saw me run into, you know, in the beginning of the video, that entire garage is going to be duped by the end of this video. Uh, I think minus one vehicle, I think, that I have in there that I didn't want to dupe over. But yeah, right there, change the plate, the color, exit vehicle, and go ahead and go back outside. We're just rinsing and repeating this over and over again. Now, I'm going to go over the fails. Uh, if your car disappears in the MOC, like you go back in there and the car is gone, that means that you need to, you know, uh, return vehicle to storage by using your MC President menu. If you can't have that option to return to storage, call up a motorcycle, then return to storage. Okay, that's what you got to do, and then your car should be back in there. The other fail, if your car spawns under the map or under the MOC, you have to return it to storage as well. And there's one more fail if your car spawns at the docks. Uh, if your car spawns at the docks, same deal. Return to storage or call up a motorcycle and return that back and then boom, your Sultan will be back in there. Uh, I do believe that there's one other fail as well. Uh, if it comes to me later in the video, I will mention it. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, if you just drive out, if you end up just driving out of the MOC with your car, that's a fail also. You, you're not supposed to end up outside with the car. You want to end up outside on foot. So if you end up outside with the car, you actually pressed on the trigger too hard. Okay, remember, we, that's why we tested in the beginning of the video how much of pushing the, you know, how much we had to push the trigger to actually get it to just slightly reverse or slightly go forward. Okay, you want it at the slowest speed possible. That's, the, that's where you're gonna be holding it at. So I'm gonna go over again what it takes to get glitched out as I'm just, you know, rinsing and repeating, duping that entire garage. Uh, at this point, oh, at this point, actually, I didn't have any more Fagios. So I'm going to go ahead and run in there and grab an RH8 and just pull out the RH8. It's the same deal. The Fagios are just much, much easier because the Fagios you can call up with your motorcycle club uh, menu and you don't have to keep running in and out of your garage. And you can return to storage, call up another one. Just super convenient. I actually end up ordering another one because I really wanted to dupe the entire garage or as much as I could of the garage. Uh, so I'm just going to run in here, grab the RH8, bring it out, and it's just like calling out a Fagio, and you're just going to dupe, just like that. So, like I was saying, uh, to get glitched out, we were practicing that we needed to, um, to actually, you know, just slightly push the triggers so that we would slightly reverse or slightly go forward. Now, that's the amount that you're going to need when you go inside, and when you go inside the MOC, you're going to press triangle or Y, depending on what console you're at, and as your guy's getting in the car, you're already holding the pause button and you're holding the trigger at that amount where it's, you know, slow enough to go very, very slow. That's why we're testing it th that way. So while holding pause and holding that trigger, you're just going to wait until your guy gets in the car. And right when he actually, uh, you're going to, you're going to actually see your character. He's going to lift up his, uh, he's going to, he's, he, all right, so here we go. <laughs> he's going to grab with both hands the steering wheel. Then his right hand is going to go down and start the car. After he starts the car, he's going to then put his hand back up on the steering wheel. And that's basically, a, it's, it's like right at that time or a second after. You have to see the timing. It changes uh, and it varies from time to time. That's when he's about to drive out. That's when you want to just yank the controller. Now, you don't need to let go of pause or the trigger because you're yanking the controller. It's doing that for you. There's no need to just, you know, let go of pause or let go of trigger at a certain point. No, that point is being taken over by unplugging your actual controller. So I do recommend using a cable because the cable will get you that alert instantly for the most part. Sometimes it will come in late, but for the most part, it's very, very instant. And uh, I would test it out by actually unplugging the controller once before you do the glitch and then go in there, plug it back in, and then go in there and try it again. Uh, another thing that will help also if you fail, drive, drive it out and back, drive the Sultan outside and then back in again, just to keep testing it out, just to make sure that, you know, it's kind of reset. That did help uh, with the older, you know, methods every now and then. But I'm telling you, I hit this glitch very, very quickly, and the other ones took me 40, 50 plus tries to get. And this one, two, uh, four tries, I got it two times at least. Okay, and you saw in this video, this video was completely uncut. I, start, I started recording as I got into the session and I was parking my MOC. I did that test for you guys, drove in there, and got it first try in this, in this video. So I'm telling you, this method is 10 times easier. Uh, it does work, and it's much, much more consistent. Now, at this point, uh, I do believe I've almost gotten everything. Uh, yeah, so 
I had that I had that RH8 out. I even had a street car out. All you got to do is now call up, you know, return it to storage or like I did, call up a Faggio. Don't drive that street car or that RH8 back into the uh, garage. It won't dupe that way. You need to just return to storage. So go ahead and you see I'm doing the last Faggio right here, changing the plate and the color and going ahead and hitting exit vehicle. And now we make our way outside and at this point I wanted to just make sure that I had enough time to keep recording uh, since I'm on the DVR. That's why you're going to see my guy just all of a sudden like stand here for a little bit. But that's the majority of the, of the glitch guys, that's the new method. You gotta just practice and see how much of, you know, how much pressure you have to put on that trigger to be able to just slowly move your car outside. That's the exact amount of pressure you need uh, to, to push on the trigger while you're inside the, uh, the MOC. So I'm explaining it one more time, okay, because I want to make sure you guys got this. And once again, you cannot do the no custom plates glitch, at least I couldn't. If anyone has success, let me know, but I couldn't because the car was bricked. I wasn't able to drive the car outside at all. Even after ordering the Faggio uh, over the, uh, the other dupe, I wasn't able to drive the car out whatsoever. Okay, so right here, you see the whole garage is duped except for that one vehicle I didn't want to dupe over. And that didn't take long at all. That's how quick you can do this glitch. Now, uh, yeah, so here we go. I'm explaining it one more time. You are testing the amount of pressure you need to go slowly outside, you know, very, very slowly with your car to be able to get it to slowly move. Then as, you're, as you drive it back in, it's going to kick you out of the car. Now you press Y or triangle to get in, and at this moment, you're holding the pause button as well as the trigger for that same amount of pressure that you just practiced with. And as soon as you see your player start the car, put his hand on the on the steering wheel, put his hand back on the steering wheel, and he's about to you know drive out. That's when you just yank the controller. You shouldn't really see the the uh, the car moving in the MOC. If you see it move, you probably did it too late. You want to do it right as he's about to drive out, and that's how you'll successfully hit the glitch. Okay, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, at this point, I just kind of show you what happens when you drive out and then renovate your MOC. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. I couldn't explain it any better than that. Uh, but if you do have questions, I, I don't mind at all. You know, I do understand glitches can be hard, especially this one. You know, this one's been crazy. I can't believe it's even still working. But uh, yeah, no question is a dumb question. Well, there are some dumb questions, but I don't care. I'll answer them. <laughs> no problem, guys. Don't be timid. Don't be shy. This channel is to help people. This channel is to, to help experienced glitchers, new glitchers, whatever you are. I'm here to help you, so put it down in the comments, guys. And don't forget, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you're hashtagging road to 1K, road to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, roll easy family, everything, guys. Just stay active in the comments, please. That's going to be it. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this brand new video of this super old glitch that's for some reason still working. Uh, yeah, so make sure you like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment, subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, guys.